Um, I this vlog is all about my granny. I want to thank all of you that prayed for her. Um, she ended up she was in a hospital for a week. Um, she had a blood clot that gave her coming in, and then coming in, she bled out or whatever. She was in um, ICU unit for about a week, a ventilator, everything. And I thought she was dying. Like, honestly, everybody thought she was dying. The doctors, everything. They were going to set up hospice, everything, whatever. And then, miraculously, she got better. Like, in one day, it was a complete one, 100 um, degree turnaround. She woke up. She started eating. She, but now she's at home. And my, and she's not able to walk. So, I am going to go in here and get her some flowers and go and visit her. Um, my aunt is actually taking care of her, um, which is, I think she's a little bit struggling, so I gotta go there. But my aunt is so, you guys, it makes me mad because she's sitting there and waiting on this nurse um, for three days ago, but she won't get on the phone and call and why aren't they there? You know what I mean? Like, you've got to fight with for your loved ones. It's just not like, oh, so aggravating. So, I told her that I would go there, get the packet and call these people. But anyway, I'm gonna, I just want to say thank you so much for your prayers. I appreciate it so, so much. Um, it's gonna be a long road with her. I know she's 87 and she's not gonna go before her time is up. And, um, I, I would like for your continue our prayers for her to get better or, you know, leave this world peaceably in her sleep or something. Or, I don't know. I don't want you to play for her death, but I just want to her to go naturally, you know, like not having to have a breathing, you know, that was just like torture to me because I, I worked at a, um, what was it, um, a nursing home for a while when I was very very young and I saw the people that had the feeding tubes and the breathing and they were just there they were just laid in the bed and nobody came and visit them I mean they had bed sores it was just awful and they were you know they were saying get a g-tube in all this kind of stuff and she made a complete turnaround so um, I'm going to contribute your prayers to that so thank you so much and um, so um, I had, my granny was, she was still listening. She was still listening, but she had her, that thing down her throat and she couldn't hear. I mean, she couldn't talk. So, I turned on Adrian Rogers, which is my favorite pre preacher, you guys. I'm, I'm going to leave a link below. I'm going to try to find a link below and put, just for encouragement. This is someone that wants to try to know Christ in their life. I'm not, I don't know. I just whatever you know so I'm here at the fresh market and I'm gonna go pick her some flowers up I just wanted to say a quick note maybe I'll go film some stuff for you guys so you can know who I'm talking about and uh, I love you so much thank you for your prayers um definitely prayers were answered so thank you so much God is good and I love all of you <laughs> thanks bye Hi, how are you? Should I get our tulips? Or should I get our roses? I think she likes roses, you guys, better. These pennies, is it pretty? No, some pretty, pretty, pretty flowers. Granny likes red, so red it is. Cheesecake. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm gonna get my granny something. What should I get her? Hmm. Ma'am. Ma'am, all of that uh, in that buggy is 50% off. Okay, thank you so much.
Okay, thank you guys. This is my picture of our granny with her dog in her chair. And I didn't video camera, but she's there. Thank you so much.